Bladesmiths, this is the strength test. I'm going to be taking each of your dirks and testing them by hammering them six times each into this oil can. Remember, this test is all about what happens to the dirks. Phil, you're up first. You ready? Yes, sir. I'm feeling nervous because when I see the oil drum for the first time, I'm thinking, well, that could break at that point. Respect for that barrel. <laughs> that poor barrel. <laughs> well, Phil, held up pretty well. A little bit of rolling at the edge here. Minor, but still there. In all, Dirk held up very well. Good job, man. Doran, you're up next. Are you ready? Kill that thing. Well, Doran, you still have a dirk. It's not razor sharp anymore. Down here, there's just a little rolling, but the handle is relatively small for a dirk, but comfortable. Overall, very well done. Sure. Jonathan, you're up. Ready. I'm a little worried, because you crack the blade, you dull the blade, you can drive the blade clean out of the handle. Anything can go wrong. Well, Jonathan, in all, it held up well. But the handle is a little sharp towards the front. It's not quite as comfortable to grip as some of the others. But I like the, your choice of wood. In total, it's still a fighting knife. Well done. All right, gentlemen, next up is the sharpness test. Now, unlike the strength test, this is all about what your knives do to these apples. A sharp edge should give me a good clean cut straight through those apples. A dull edge, well, we can see the apples crack, or we can see the skin torn. Phil, you're up first. You ready? Yes, sir. Good job. Yeah. All right, Phil, right off the bat, I, I love the profile of your knife, that classic shape. It cut cleanly through these apples, but right at the edge, you can see these little flaps of skin. There's one section on this knife where it took that roll. Definitely a sharp knife, though. A good cutter. Nicely done. Thank you, sir. Doran. You're up, are you ready? I am nervous. I might have spent too much time on my handle and not enough time on my blade. Your blade does have an edge, and it will cut. But that one inch by 3 eighths of an inch is a wedge. This first apple, it's got a cut to about here, and then the rest of this is actually broken. For a slicing blade, it just, it's fighting. All right, Jonathan, you're up. Let's do it. My blade suffered the worst damage in the barrel stab. It has the least finished handle on the floor. Anything could send me home at this point. First off, you've got a big convex edge to this which cut really nicely. But there are a couple of small rolls. And your handle, though shaped nicely this way, is very lean here. But it's definitely a cutter. Nicely done. Thank you. Bladesmiths, the judge's deliberation is complete, and they've made their final decision. The bladesmith leaving the forge is. Dorn, your blade did not make the cut. David Baker's going to tell you why. Doran, you made a solid knife there, and I really appreciate the fact that you listened and reprofiled that tip. But in the slice test and the sharpness test, your blade with that wedge profile just didn't cut. That's why we're letting you go. Doran, please surrender your weapon. I'm not upset that I lost or I didn't get to where I needed to be in this competition. These are tears of joy. This is happy. I just lived out a dream. And with somebody who's living in a little town like I do, this is worth more than gold. 